32 54W 33rd Street New York 1st February 1895 Dear sister I just received your beautiful note Well sometimes it is a good discipline to be forced to work for work's sake even to the length of not being allowed to enjoy the fruits of one's labor I'm very glad of your criticisms and I'm not sorry at all The other day at Miss Thursby's I had an excited argument with a presbyterian gentleman who as usual got very hot angry and abusive however i was afterwards severely reprimanded by mrs bull for this as such things hinder my work so it seems is your opinion i'm glad you write about it just now because i have been giving a good deal of thought to it in the first place i am not at all sorry for these things perhaps that may disgust you it may i know full well how good it is for one's worldly prospects to be sweet i do everything to be sweet but when it comes to a horrible compromise with the truth within then i stop i do not believe in humility i believe in samadarshitva same state of mind with regard to all the duty of the ordinary man is to obey the commands of his god society but the children of light never do so this is an eternal law one accommodates himself to surroundings and social opinion and gets all good things from society the giver of all good to such the other stands alone and draws society up towards him the accommodating man finds a path of roses the non accommodating one of thorns but the worshippers of vox populi go to annihilation in a moment the children of truth live forever i will compare truth to a corrosive substance of infinite power it burns its way in wherever it falls in soft substance at once hard granite slowly but it must what is writ is writ i am so so sorry sister that i cannot make myself sweet and accommodating to every black falsehood but i cannot i have suffered for it all my life but i cannot i have essayed and essayed but i cannot at last i have given it up the lord is great he will not allow me to become a hypocrite now let what is in come out i have not found a way that will please all and i cannot but be what i am true to my own self youth and beauty vanish life and wealth vanish name and fame vanish even the mountains crumble into dust friendship and love vanish truth alone abides god of truth be thou alone my guide i am too old to change now into milk and honey allow me to remain as i am without fear without shopkeeping caring neither for friend nor foe do thou hold on to truth sanyasin and from this moment give up this world and the next and all that are to come their enjoyments and their vanities truth be thou alone my guide i have no desire for wealth or name or fame or enjoyment sister they are dust unto me i wanted to help my brethren i have not the tact to earn money bless the lord what reason is there for me to conform to the vagaries of the world around me and not obey the voice of truth within the mind is still weak sister it sometimes mechanically clutches at earthly help but i am not afraid fear is the greatest sin my religion teaches the last fight with the presbyterian priest and the long fight afterwards with mrs bull showed me in a clear light what manu says to the sanyasin live alone walk alone all friendship all love is only limitation there never was a friendship especially of women which was not exacting o oh, great sages you were right one cannot serve the god of truth who leans upon somebody be still my soul be alone and the lord is with you life is nothing death is a delusion all this is not god alone is fear not my soul be alone sister the way is long the time is short evening is approaching i have to go home soon i have no time to give my manners a finish i cannot find time to deliver my message you are good you are so kind i will do anything for you and do not be angry i see you all are mere children dream no more oh dream no more my soul in one word i have a message to give i have no time to be sweet to the world and every attempt at sweetness makes me a hypocrite i will die a thousand deaths rather than lead a jellyfish existence and yield to every requirement of this foolish world no matter whether it be my own country or a foreign country 
You are mistaken, utterly mistaken, if you think I have a work, as Mrs. Bull thinks. I have no work under or beyond the sun. I have a message, and I will give it after my own fashion. I will neither Hinduize my message, nor Christianize it, nor make it any eyes in the world. I will only my eyes it, and that is all. Liberty, Mukti, is all my religion, and everything that tries to curb it, I will avoid by fight or flight. Pooh! I try to pacify the priests. Sister, do not take this amiss. But you are babies, and babies must submit to be taught. You have not yet drunk of that fountain, which makes reason unreason, mortal immortal, this world a zero, and of man a god. Come out if you can, of this network of foolishness they call this world. Then I will call you indeed brave and free. If you cannot, cheer those that dare dash this false god, society, to the ground and trample on its unmitigated hypocrisy. If you cannot cheer them, pray, be silent, but do not try to drag them down again into the mire with such false nonsense as compromise and becoming nice and sweet. I hate this world, this dream, this horrible nightmare with its churches and chicaneries, its books and blackguardisms, its fair faces and false hearts, its howling righteousness on the surface and utter hollowness beneath, and above all, its sanctified shopkeeping. What? Measure any soul according to what the bond slaves of the world say? Pooh! Sister, you do not know the sannyasin. He stands on the heads of the Vedas. Say the Vedas, because he is free from churches and sects and religions and prophets and books and all of that ilk. Missionary or no missionary, let them howl and attack me with all they can. I take them as Bhartrahari says, Go thou thy ways, sannyasin. Some will say, who is this madman? Others, who is this chandala? Others will know thee to be a sage. Be glad at the prattle of the worldlings. But when they attack, know that. The elephant passing through the marketplace is always beset by curs, but he cares not. He goes straight on his own way. So it is always. When a great soul appears, there will be numbers to bark after him. I am living with Landsberg at 54W, 33rd Street. He is a brave and noble soul. Lord bless him. Sometimes I go to the Guernseys to sleep. Lord bless you all ever and ever. And may he lead you quickly out of this big humbug. The world. May you never be enchanted by this old witch. The world. May Shankara help you. May Uma open the doors of truth for you and take away all your delusions. Yours with love and blessings. Vivekananda.